Um, I guess the best thing is understanding the fact that uh, you're never ever just gonna be another person in the room. Those those days are over. Those days are oh, uh, I didn't know you saw me. Well, well, yeah, you're gonna be noticed no matter what. I mean, and I think what happens is, you know, as Carol was saying, you got to be you got to be like very very efficient when it comes to your time. And even and and you know uh, you know as Dre just said, you know you could you could do something every day. Well, I look at it like this as well. You need to find a way to be doing something for you every day, as my dad would say. You can't spend nine hours at work dedicated to the man that pays you and never dedicated to the man that, you know, who's actually doing the work, which is you. You got to find time for you as well as um, as well as those around you. But have fun with it. I mean, you know, Dre, you're talking about uh, different quotes or whatever. Most people, you know, as my granddad would say, most people never, ever do anything because they don't want to be seen starting at the bottom. Don't be most people. You got to have a starting point when you talk when you talk about these things. And as I told you yesterday, Mariana, it's, it's the worst that could happen is already happened. Nothing. The worst that could happen is nothing. Well, you already at that point. And my, me and my mother talk every day. I say, Mom, I have to find a way to pop my bubble. I cannot live in my bubble every day. I got to pop it. That's that, you know, that's what, you know, that's where the introvert comes in and everything. But, uh, have fun with this process. I mean, because you know, no one's gonna, no one's gonna, you know, uh, no one's gonna feel sorry for anybody on this panel if we don't make it. Because people just they 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 think we make it in regards because of what we used to do. And I'm like, well, what I used to do doesn't have anything to do with now. But enjoy this process. Understand that the same people that's pulling and tugging at you used to be the one pulling and tugging at somebody else. So now you've become that thing. So enjoy it. Have fun with it. Understand, you know, failing is a part of it. But uh, be very, very efficient with your time, and um, you know, enjoy this. Enjoy. It. We end up becoming process. So enjoy this process for a minute. Yeah. So uh, you know, you know, one thing that I just kind of got to pick it back off of what Ben said. Man, he said something that was really key, especially for me, is like as an athlete, you know, you don't just, you know, you bring the table, right? And so. When I hear things like that, and I, I say that because, man, words feed me. And I think words feed all athletes. Like, everybody, you know, from growing up, you know, we've all been little kids. We just wanted to hear two words. These are the only two words we wanted to hear from our coach, from our parents. We wanted to hear, good job, right? That's all we wanted to hear. Like that's, and that's how we get fed. And so a lot of times what I have to do, because there's so many words that are out there. Like, I only let words that feed me come into my space. Right, like anybody's words that don't really feed me or can feed me negatively, like I don't let those things in my space. And I don't really know what I'm doing with my hands right now, but you get it, right? But like, I don't really let those things in my space because I don't want those words to plant seed that'll grow up and be a fruit that I really don't want. So, you know, as an athlete, I think a lot of times, like, you know, we have this, uh, this internal voice. And for whatever reason, this, that internal voice can be really, really negative. And I'll, I say this all the time. I'm so much fed by words that I really believe this. And listen to this quote. This is a good one that I made up like two days ago. I said, every word spoken by you is also spoken to you. And when, I, and when I heard that, I'm like, hold on, because now I'm developing my voice to feed me. And I think that's super important as athletes, because especially going to a new career, like we're, we're new in this thing. So we have to re remind ourselves that like we got to feed ourselves with these, with these positive words. I would say in retrospect, looking at sophomore year is being aware at how many people are involved and how many intricacies are involved in making things happen. So I think a lot of times when we think about what vocation we want, we actually aren't aware of sponsorship deals, sales, uh, fans, you know, everything that comes together to make sports events happen. And that ties into developing passion and interest. Um, the second component I would say is allowing people to get to know you beyond the basketball court or field. Spend time with them, whether it's a barbecue or invites, allow your real self to come in front of them so they can get to know you as a person. 